today we're taking it back to an old school 442. It's an absolute banger. you got to want to check it out. Welcome back to another video guys, it's Josh from FM Scout here and today we've got another nap tactic and this one's a special one. It's an old score 442 with a very attack and twist. It performed very, very well with the underdog teams but also with the top team we scored 150 plus goals just in the league alone. It absolutely cooks, so you need to check it out. Let's get into the tactic testing phase of the video. Firstly, we'll get the powerhouse out of the way. That is going to be Celtic, obviously over in the Scottish division where we had an invincible season. We drew one game, nearly won every single match, a perfect 30 out of 38 would have been some title wouldn't it but one draw come in to ruin that perfect title scottish cup we win that against dundee and also the via play cup against livingston unfortunately barcelona were a little bit too much for us to deal with in the champions league but a treble winning season going invincible not a complaint from me at all. 157 goals scored, only 33 conceded. It's going to be Ohawai Anju coming in with 46 goals and picking up the highest average rating. Rio Hatate picking up 20 assists. And Joe Hart, a 95% pass completion from the goalkeeper position. Now, the stats, we're going to pretty much talk about everything because we dominated the entire lot. Most clean sheets at 14, the fewest conceded at 33. Most dribbles made at basically 700. Possession-wise, incredible stat for a four. 64% of the ball, over 250 shots, 896 shots for, getting on for 900, most goals at 157, and the most points almost at a perfect three. Now, what I really find unbelievable about this tactic is we had so much possession, but we were also having so many shots. We were literally doing everything to such a high level, by far one of the best 4-4-2s I've ever played with on FM. Going over to the data hub, again, over four goals a game, 4.13, only 0.87 conceded. 23.58 shots every single match, a tackle win ratio of 77% and a pass completion of practically 87 it's incredible. Up next, a bit of Hungarian football. That is going to be Debrecen, where we come out and actually win the league as well, and the Hungarian Cup, making it a double winning season, which we're going to take any day of the week, scoring 88 league goals and only conceding 23. It's going to be Magic to Vivac coming in with 27 goals. If I butchered that, I do apologise. Christian picking up 14 assists and also picking up the 7.47 highest average rating. Well, it is going to be Maguire coming in with a 95% pass completion, the same as Joe Hart. Team stat wise, we are going to feature and again, a fair few of them. Most points per game, most goals at 88 or joint first, obviously there with second place. Most shots saw at 622. The fewest shots against dominating that one as well. Possession wise, we were very, very close to stealing that with 58% of the ball. Most dribbles being made at 468. Very close to second place there as well. Fewest conceded quite convincing in that stat line and also the most clean sheets coming in which again very convincing in that stat line as well so very similar to Celtic on a bit of a smaller scale but doing everything right high possession shots on goal defend them well you can't really ask for much more data hub wise of course we're going to go and have a little glimpse 2.67 goals per game so obviously not as many as with a team like Celtic but still quite a fair few goals still very good defensively 0.7 very very impressive 18.85 shots per game and 86% pass complete and a tackle win ratio of 75.6. So although it's not as good as Celtic in terms of the amount of goals being scored, it's very good for a team like this. And then 15th place predicted Tranmere. I had to do some lower league English football when you're using a 4-4-2. It only makes sense and we enjoyed a fantastic season. I mean, we won the league quite convincingly over Stockport, over Colchester. The Cups possibly weren't the best for this season, but I am not going to complain at all when we're winning the league considering 15th place predicted. It's going to be Christian Dennis and Luke Norris both scoring exactly 27 goals. You very rarely see joint top goal scorers with over sort of 20 plus goals. So very impressed to see that. Regan Hendry with a 7.17 highest average rating. Connor Wood with 19 assists, 126 goals scored. We weren't the best at conceding. We conceded quite a fair few, to be honest. But again, it goes back to that old school saying of you score more than you concede. It's all you need to do. And it's very, very true. Going over to the team stats we are going to feature in a few of them that is going to be free on this occasion the most shots for we're always going to dominate that the most goals no one could even compete and also the most points per game so to be honest with you I'm not going to hide it not as defensively solid but we are outscoring everyone so as long as you're doing that you're going to win your games going over to the data hub we are going to be looking at 2.74 goals per game conceded per game at 1.33 so you can see here just about we are scoring double so we are going to be conceding 
meaning you've got to win a lot of your games. Over 17 shots a game, actually closer to 18. A pass completion of 85.46 and a tackle win ratio of 76 0.2. And lastly, the last team of the video is going to be Tenerife, a team predicted to finish 7th in the Spanish 2nd Division, and we have come out and nearly replicated what Celtic done, going invincible, failing to... I mean, we lost one game. Can it be classed as invincible if we're being generous? No, we won't give up, but very, very close to the one loss coming in against Ibar in a 2-1 defeat. Also semi-finalists of that Spanish Cup, 127 goals scored in a league alone, only 36 conceded, and we were clearly quite disciplined as we got zero red cards. It's going to be Emric Gallagardo, Gallagher coming in, sorry, with 25 goals, Roberto Lopez picking up 21 assists and therefore getting the highest average rating, and it is going to be Nadal coming in with 95% pass completion. Not to be confused with the tennis player. Team stat-wise, we are going to look, and we are going to be featuring in the same three as previously. The most shots for at 690, the most points per game at 2.58, which again, we dominated the league, so no competition here. And also the most goals at 127. Outscore and favourites, Espanyol. So a very convincing season there. Data hub boys, we are going to go and have a little look. It's always annoying that pop-up. Always very frustrating. 3.17 goals per game, 0.9 conceded. So still, we're under a goal a game. Score and treble that we are going to be conceding. Over 17.2 shots every single game. A pass completion of 86% and a tackle win ratio of 76 0.74. So every single team we're tested with, there's not one result I'm gutted about. It's all a big W, in my opinion. Of course, we've got to watch some highlights. It's going to be a 6-0 win over Hearts, obviously, in the Scottish division. And we got off to a flying start here inside of 90 minutes. This guy, by the way, over 40 goals in the season, as we saw. McGregor makes it two even 33 minutes from the spot. It's going to be Ralston down the right-hand side now, driving at the back line. Going to be a ball inside, back stick, again into the same man, making it 3-0 before half-time. Then go on to concede an extra three in the second half. Dizan goes through into Rio, ball through into Kyogo, completely unmarked marks nothing Gordon can do on that occasion making it four again more and more goals seem to be coming 60th minute we're going to make it five down the line again into the middle and a badder makes it five one more goal to show and that is going to come very late on 87th minute in back into Palmer ball inside into Welsh on the edge what a game it's not just with Celtic we were scoring these types of goals. Even with Tenerife, we got some real good football going. Malo down the right-hand side, going to cut in, cut out, twist everyone in the belt, and goes alone, actually. Thought he was going to square that, but a very good start inside of seven minutes. You can see here how many goals we scored just before half-time. A great set-piece action there. Again, you need to get your hands on them because they are very good to download. Madrano goes down the left-hand side again. With this tactic, you're not going to be afraid to actually take on people. It's not all about the passing. You are going to run at a lot of teams and score goals through that approach as well, and you can also see if I pause here the amount of people that are going to be in the box so we are talking about one two three four five players all in the box one on the ball so there's always going to be an attack and pass to be played and as you can see we finally get the ball played back stick and there's too many people to mark basically impossible for the opposition to keep the ball out of the back of the net again a very good set piece coming in going into big but again, I believe so you say that back stick. Melot down the right-hand side now is going to cut it back into the box. Again, so many options in the middle, and he's going to take a touch, knock it off into Alexandre, and I believe it actually ends up being an own goal, but we're going to claim it. I'm sure he's going to claim it, being a forward player. An absolute rocket there from Leon, and I believe one more goal to come fairly late on into the game. The 75th minute, down the right-hand side again. A lot of stuff coming down this side of the field. Ball in, back stick. Made it look easy. Now, of course, your favourite part of the video, that is going to be the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the FM Scout channel. And if you enjoy myself as a creator, you can come over and check out my stuff. The link is going to be in the description. I post a video once every two days where you go over tactics, rebuilds, and much more. Definitely come and say hello. Be an absolute pleasure to see you there. Let's go over to the player roles, though, and go through them in a bit of detail. So the sweeper keeper is simply going to be on the default. So not too much to copy for that one. The wing back on the right is going to be on attack with a fair few instructions. And I believe it is going to be exactly the same for the left and the right hand side so we'll go through it once I'm not going to waste any more of your time that is going to be a wing back on attack on cross more often dribble more sit narrower tackle harder and also mark tighter so again the same which i say in a lot of naps tactics make sure you've got very good wing backs with great attacking qualities because they do play a big part in this system two ball playing defenders which are going to be on dribble more tackle harder and mark tighter exactly the same for the left 
and the right hand side so the winger on the right hand side is going to be an inverted winger simply on tackle harder so nice and simple to copy the left hand side one is a little bit different still the same role still tackle harder but on this occasion we're going to add sit narrower the two midfield players work really well together probably my favorite pairing in the 4-4-2 a box to box on support on get further forwards move into channels tackle harder and also mark tighter and next to him a deep line playmaker on support on tackle harder and mark tighter now if you are struggling you're prone to being counter-attacked on you could easily replace this deep line playmaker with a ball winning midfield player for example or maybe even dropping them both back a little bit if you need to do so but in my opinion the outscoring way worked really really well the advanced forward on the right is going to be on attack on dribble more and tackle harder and on the left hand side it's going to be exactly the same so it's a very attacker minded 4-4-2 a lot of sort of maneuvering going on especially from the wide areas the importance of the inverted players is massive though in this system so do not have actual default wingers as in do not use this role here because obviously the full backs are going to push up or the wing backs should I say so it will be an absolute control gestion if you've got them all out there so make sure your inverted wingers are staying inside so your wing backs can overlap and obviously do their job correctly team instruction wise though all based off a custom tiki taka style on the attacking the attacking mentality fairly wide on the attacking width they're going to underlap left and underlap right they're going to focus to play down the left and the right something that works really well in this year's game very very meta based instruction a shorter passing directness match of a higher tempo probably the go-to as well to be honest with you partnered alongside of the low cross and run at defense dribbling style in transition there's going to be four simple things counter press counter distribute quickly and roll the ball out and lastly as a lot of nap tactics do feature the much higher defensive line the high pressing line of engagement much more often and also prevent short goalkeeper distribution because we have got two strikers up there it makes sense to do so and that's going to give you this incredible 442 hopefully you guys do enjoy using the tactic be sure to leave a comment and let me know what your results are and if you have enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like subscribe to the fn scout channel enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one